Hey guys, it's Schwasty. I'm running around with the M4A1 today, I've gotten about 200 kills with it so far. So I've unlocked a couple of attachments, but I haven't quite gotten the vertical grip that I would like yet, or the extended magazine that I'd like to give a try. But I'm still running around, I'm having a good time with the M4A1. It's a very solid middle of the road assault rifle, I've said this before about it. And a lot of people are comparing it to the AK-74, more so than they used to. Back in the early access days, of a week ago, the AK-74 used to reign supreme. Uh, you could put a heavy barrel on the AK-74 and take it up to a 34 base damage, potentially giving it a three shot range. They have since done away with that. The heavy barrel doesn't do quite as much damage, so I think it just pushes it over the threshold into a four shot range. So the M4A1 has had an opportunity to shine, and a lot of you are getting hands on with the M4A1 because you're kind of forced to. You don't really have many other assault rifles unlocked. Realistically, in the first, say, 10 hours of gameplay, you'll have the choice between the AK, the M4A1, and the AK-15 for the assault rifle category, and nothing else. So, even if you're not a huge fan of the M4A1, you're probably still going to end up leveling it up anyway. The gameplay that you're seeing on screen at the moment is just a combination of clips that I've gotten over the last few hours of running around with the M4A1. It's not amazing gameplay by any standard, but I figured it would make a nice backdrop while I address today's video. So in today's video, I want to talk about a hot topic that was brought up in the BattleBit Discord by Sergeant Okie Doki. A lot of you would have seen this already because it came out yesterday in the patch notes. It was just kind of slipped in there in the middle, but I think it's probably the most important one. So what they've mentioned is they have reduced the time it takes to level up at higher ranks. So essentially what that means is when you get past a certain level, let's say 40 for example, the XP that you would have originally required is actually going to be reduced, I think by half. So what that means for all of us is you're not going to be really stuck on a particular level for a long time. You're going to keep ranking up and keep proceeding. And that's quite good for a lot of people that want to eventually prestige and just carry on getting more skins as they go. And it just keeps the gameplay fresh rather than just feeling like you're in a bit of a stalemate in terms of levels and it's going to take ages to get anywhere. So I don't know, I'm kind of indifferent on it. In one way it's fine, like I don't really mind leveling up a little bit faster. It's going to get a lot more weapons unlocked quicker that way. So in that sense, it's pretty good. In the other way, I don't know how it will affect the longevity of the game. I always like having something to look forward to, something to unlock. But I realise that is such a privileged whinge to have you know, for people that don't get to play a lot. I don't get to play a lot. I work full time and I've got other things going on in my life. But I think it's definitely going to be beneficial to people that don't, you know, they have families, they have full time jobs, they maybe get a, a couple of hours a couple of times a week to play. And they don't want to be stuck on the M4 AK grind for very long. They want to, you know, get out there. And it's not only for assault rifles, it's for other weapon categories as well. But you know what I mean, okay? They don't want to be stuck grinding out the same weapon, just, oh, I get to play for an hour today. Guess I'll just continue the M4 A1 grind. This isn't RuneScape, okay? You don't have to do that. Um, so, yeah, I suppose in that sense, it's a good change. And it's probably something that the majority of you will agree on, especially reading the comments of my recent videos. But uh, yeah, a lot of us wouldn't have seen it come into effect yet. The highest ranked players I've seen today have been 90s and 100s. And I'm sure those guys haven't slept yet. It's been absolute sweats. I'm about 20 hours into the game and I think I've only just gotten over level 40. So I don't know what these guys are doing. Maybe I have a skill issue, I don't know. <laughs> Getting past that brings me on to the next thing I want to talk about in my video. I have so many things to talk about all of the time, but so little time in a video where I can actually keep the audience engaged. <laughs> but uh, I was messing around in the firing range because what I was originally going to do is I was going to make an RPG range guide for the tandem because I noticed that the game didn't have one. I had one for the heat rounds and one for the fragmentation rounds, but not one for the tandem. So I said I'd do a little bit of research. It's pretty self-explanatory anyway. And I went to post a picture on YouTube and <laughs> I'd gone into the, back into the game to double check something and I'd realized that they had put it in it must have been patched in yesterday so i'm glad hopefully none of you saw that if you did i took it down very very quickly when i posted it. i was very embarrassed <laughs> but when i was in there besides the point besides the point 
I was messing around with the new weapons and one that really got my attention was the Scorpion Evo and that is the new carbine that they've introduced, it's a carbine SMG and it's got some really really interesting stats on it. It's got a base damage of 26 which is pretty good for you know SMG or whatever but it's got a fire rate of 1200 rounds per minute okay now that is the exact same fire rate as the Chris Vector and we know how quickly that thing bricked through people so just imagine the kind of damage that the Scorpion Evo is putting out. Actually, I'll tell you what, if you have a look at it here in the firing range, I'm going to overlay some footage onto this video, okay? So, i am pretty much got a vertical grip on it, because this thing has a base vertical recoil of 2.70. That is insanely high, okay? The vertical grip will reduce that by about 0 0.5, so we're taking it down to about 2.2. Still insanely high, okay? I'm going to aim in this target in front of me. It's about 20 meters away. Okay, I'm not going to do any recoil control at all, and I'm just going to let it fire. And that is just absolutely insane. You're going to be shooting helicopters out of the sky before you kill the guy that's standing right in front of you with recoil like that. It's just crazy, okay? Now, in this next clip here, I do my very, very best to control the recoil, but it's still very difficult. I think I hit everything but the target I was aiming at. <laughs> it's just absolutely mental. And I haven't been able to find a loadout for it that actually suits this weapon it just seems to be this crazy high reward high recoil weapon that you unlock at 150 so we're not even going to see it in game for probably another week or so depending on how many sweats there are to actually want to use it unfortunately it only actually has an option of a 30 round magazine there's really limited attachments available for this so for example you don't really get a barrel option and you don't get a magazine option so the loadout possibilities with this weapon are kind of limited. But I still think we're going to see some really cool gameplay and clips coming up in the coming weeks of people that get used to this weapon and they don't mind controlling that recoil in a close quarter situation. I think the damage output that this thing is going to be doing is just going to be absolutely insane. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what you can all do with that because I'm going to be rubbish with it. <laughs> But for those of you out there that are skilled gamers, maybe the Counter-Strike veterans that don't mind controlling a bit of recoil, this is probably nothing compared to the AK-47. But it's definitely going to be rewarding for the people that take the time out to actually learn this weapon. This weapon has one of the fastest time to kill in the game for an automatic weapon. It's coming in at about 150 milliseconds minus any variables. And that's even faster than the Chris Vector and the AK-74 when it was good, okay? Take that into consideration, okay? And I reckon this gun is going to be loved by few and hated by many. I think it's going to be that one gun in the lobby that just everyone's going to hate and complain about when they get down. Probably myself included because I'm not going to take the time to learn it. But uh, yeah, anyway, that's my little mini rant over. Uh, if you did like the video, consider leaving a like. And thank you again to all the subscribers. My tips and tricks video just hit over 50,000 views. That's absolutely insane for such a small channel. If you're not subscribed, please do get subscribed because it's going to be more videos like this. Let's get to 1,000 subs. Absolutely, can't wait. <laughs> anyway, guys, you guys have a fantastic week, okay? I'll probably do a video later in the week and then I'll have some stuff out at the week. Just let me get some more footage first. If there's anything you'd like to see in these videos, or if you'd like me to even talk slower, let me know down in the comments below. You guys have been great so far. And thanks to everybody that voted in the community poll where I asked what weapon did you start off in Battlebit Remastered Early Access with. That got over 400 votes. The M4A1 was the clear winner out of the 5-6 options with 57% of the vote at the time of recording this. <laughs> so I suppose that's probably what partially inspired me to use the M4 today. Anyway guys, have a good week and I'll talk to you later. Take care.